Hey everyone, it's JC for Waffle Flower. I'm so excited to show you all how I made this gatefold card using the Waffle Flower Bear Hug Stamp and Die Combo. I'll admit, after seeing Jennifer McGuire's video on embellished windows, I screamed and I had to make a card trying out this technique. I'll talk more on that later, but for this gatefold card, I wanted a layering scene featuring this illustration from Sarah's Big Bear and Bird with a starry background. I've never really made an interactive card, but I wanted to try to find a way to make this card a gatefold, so here's what I came up with. As you all know, I'm obsessed with the waffle flower packaging. These cloud storage packets hold the stamp and die set in an ultra durable sleeve and have an internal separator so that the die and stamp set remain separate. Anytime you buy one of the combo sets, this sleeve is included with your purchase. No need to grab another stamp storage packet. I'll be combining this stamp set with the nested circles die set. This nested circles die set is all I need for any of my circular needs. They come in squares and ovals, but what I want to point out is that the largest circle will cut a four and a quarter diameter circle, and the smallest circle is one eighth of an inch. I'm not sure which circle I will use for this project at this point, so we'll just see where this takes us. The first thing I did for this gatefold card is stamp the large image from the Waffle Flower Bear Hug stamp set. I'm stamping this in an alcohol friendly dye ink as I know I will color this image using Copic markers. Now this isn't a coloring tutorial so I really won't go into too much detail about what I'm doing here. I wanted a more cartoon feel to the group of animals. So I'm not being too realistic with my color choices or coloring. In most cases, I'm working from darkest to lightest marker and taking the time to diffuse the hard edges between colors. I'm just enjoying the coloring process with the few Copic markers I have. Once I've colored all the animal images, I'll add white highlights to certain points of the cute critters using a white gel pen. I'm not picking any particular light source when adding these highlights, I'm just going with what feels right. Now that I'm happy with the coloring and the highlights, I went ahead and die cut the image using the coordinating die. I'll set the die cut image aside and work on the starry night background. I grabbed a panel of black cardstock and added white splatters to it, leaving enough space between the stars so I can draw in some pretend constellations. I used Dr. P.H. Martin's pen white and a water brush to get my splatters. Once the white splatters are dry, I'll use the second largest circle from the Waffle Flower Nesting Circles die set to cut out a circle. I'll use the same white gel pen from earlier and start connecting dots on this panel. I'm focusing on the periphery of the circle as I anticipate that the large animal image will cover most of the center of the circle. I'm not being accurate here either, I'm just drawing what feels right again. So here begins the assembly portion of this tutorial. To begin the gateful card, I'll grab this panel of what looks like snow or confetti on a piece of acetate. I got this idea from a Jennifer McGuire tutorial where she adds sequins, glitter, and embossing powder in one of those laminating sheets and traps the embellishments in the sheet for this lovely transparent paper. I won't replicate her video, so I encourage you to check it out if you're replicating this project. Um, just make sure you come back. <laughs> so I trimmed a piece that is five and a half tall and four and three fourths wide. You'll see that this is just reinforcing that starry look to this card. I'll grab my scoring board and score this piece at four and a quarter to cover the entire A2 panel. Now, no matter how hard you try, this is not going to stay flat. Running this panel through your die cutting machine without dies will help, but this piece is just going to naturally curve and that's okay. The next piece to this gatefold design is a normal side folding A2 note card. Here I am using Nina 80 pound Desert Storm. I keep a lot of these pre-folded so I can just grab and make. But what I'm going to do with this panel instead of it opening from left to right, I'll turn this panel upside down and have it open from right to left. What this will enable me to do is have the clear starry panel open from left to right, followed by the Nina right to left. On the innermost panel will be where I write the card's contents and such. 
So once I have all of my pieces to the gatefold card, I'll first adhere the starry background to the back of the note card using double-sided tape. To refine this card and make it look more complete, I'll add a blank panel of Nina Desert Storm to hide the seam where I've added the clear laminated piece. Now that I've got my gatefold base ready, I'll begin assembling the other pieces I made. On the middle Nina Desert Storm panel, I'll add the constellation panel, making sure it is center and also that the constellations will show behind the bear hugs image. Okay, now when I glue down the animal images, I am making sure that the bottom arc of the animal images lines up with the bottom arc of the galaxy background, just so that it looks like everything is framed correctly. I will use a generous amount of liquid glue to add this to the clear panel. In order to hide the back of the animal images, I'll also cut the coordinating die in a plain black cardstock and adhere this to the back side of the clear panel. Like I said earlier, this card is not going to stay flat, no matter what. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to create a sentiment tag that I will tie to the front so that this card stays closed when the recipient pulls the card out of the envelope. I used one of the coordinating sentiments from the Waffle Flower Bear Hug stamp set and white heat embossed it onto some black cardstock. I took the time to make it look like a gift tag by stimping the corners at an angle and using my crop a dial corner punch from We Are Memory Keepers to round the corners. I also used a crop a dial hole punch to cut out a hole out of the top center of the tag. I used some black and white baker's twine to tie down the gatefold card and added the tag before tying a bow. And that completes this gatefold card starry scene using the waffle flower bear hug stamp and die set. If you love this card and tutorial, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and the waffle flower channel for more exciting card making tutorials. Thank you so much to waffle flower for sending these products my way and I'll talk to you all very soon. Have the best day.